This is the city of Yan, which is situated in the center of Sichuan province on the upper reaches of the Yangtze River. It lies in the subtropical climate zone where humid monsoon conditions can exist. Yan is noted for its many attributes, including its 2,000 year history of tea planting, where the Mending tea of the Menchang Mountain is of an especially high quality. But perhaps Yan is more famous for the Fentongzai Nature Reserve, the home of the giant panda, and the Bifeng substation, which were constructed for scientific research and panda breeding. In the reserve, the giant pandas are protected, wandering aimlessly up and down the mountainside, seeking preferred bamboo species or preferred parts of bamboos. These bears normally prefer about 10 species of bamboo, but are able to eat more than 40 different kinds of the plant. At Bifeng, the panda's diet is often supplemented with fruit and specially prepared dietary supplements. For a resident panda, life at Bifeng is one of comparative ease. It is a stress-free existence, a life of comparative luxury. From a panda's point of view, perhaps the most irritating factor is the constant flow of excited tourists click clicking away with their cameras. But then again, if there were no tourists, our living standards could be reduced. Ah well, such is life. One should not complain. But sadly, life for a moon bear is a different story. In countries across Asia, including China, thousands of these bears live a life of torture on bear farms in order for their bile to be extracted. The bile is used in traditional medicine to cure ailments, ranging from headaches to hemorrhoids. However, there is no scientific evidence to support this. Lisa Yang, Animals Asia Welfare Officer at Jengdu, takes up the story. Chinese traditional medicine believes that the bear bile is 
very good for human beings' health. It is good for the eyes, it's good for the liver. Therefore, people start to use bear bile as medicine. In 1970s, in North Korea first, they invented this way called bear farming. What they do is to keep all the bears, the black bears, into small, small cages, like now you can see from the pictures, or the one behind you, or the one in front of you. They just keep the bears into small, tiny cages for 20 years or 30 years until the day they die, or until the day they cannot produce any bear bile. When the bears are kept in the cages, probably they wear something we call metal jacket. From this, you can see this one is very dirty, and you can see there is a small window, like a door here. If you open it, you will see it's a very dirty plastic bag here with a capacitor, and this end actually you need a metal tube, metal metal uh, capacitor. It is put right into the abdomen, the stomach the bears right into the bile gathers and milk the bile every day. So if when you look at this picture, you can look at her. Her name is Jill Robinson. She's from the UK. In 1990s, when she was working for another animal protection organization, she found this industry, bear farming. In south, in south part of China. And she said, when I went into a basement, I found more than 30 black bears were kept in the tiny cages, just like that. And above the basement, there was a shop. In that shop, all kinds of products made of bear bile were sold to people, to customers. Not like only to Chinese customers, but actually for to the customers from all around Asia, even the world. So Robinson just talked to herself. Someone have someone has to stand up, has to speak for these beautiful animals to save them from this horrific, from this cruel industry. That's why in nineteen ninety-three. She founded our foundation. Here, that is a huge honey right on the abdomen. Even on that, you can still see the bear bowels coming out. And people are using that to make medicine. When the bears they were rescued from the farms, they will be put under tracks and transported to our center. You can see that's how big the cage is. So the bears were kept there. They they cannot stand up, they cannot turn around, they cannot move, not to not to mention like they can express their natural behaviors, like to live like a real bear. Maybe it's kind of shocking to hear. In China, bear farming is okay, is illegal, it's allowed by the government. This is allowed. This is allowed by the government. It's a proper industry. However, since 1993, the government stopped um, issuing the license for the bear farms. But for those ones, pro proper ones, they already have the license. We, so far, we cannot do anything.
morning time, after breakfast time, you can say all the apples are gone, uh -huh. tomatoes gone, even like some pumpkins gone, but cabbages always the last thing. Although bare bile farming is legal throughout Asia, some governments are attempting to end the practice and the Animal Asia Foundation is trying to save as many as humanly possible. It's an uphill struggle and many black bears will never be freed. These bears at Chengdu are the lucky ones, if one may call it that. And although they have been freed from cruelty, they are both mentally and physically scarred. painful memories they will endure for the rest of their lives. <laughs> 